I wanted to expound upon just for a few minutes how to pull zone minder feeds out into HTML web pages. Um, so as you can see here I've got a camera and this is a D-Link camera that is going to zone minder and then I've wrote just a little bit of HTML to pull it out into here. I've kind of shown this in some of my other videos but I've never really got down into the code. Um, so let's hop over to Notepad++ and you'll see the source for this page. It's pretty simple, just got some standard head and body tags here. And then here is the image file, or the image tag, and I'm pointing the SRC to my zone minder and then also to this specific monitor. So let's break this down just a little bit. HTTP, uh, that's protocol, duh. The IP address, I could easily change that to a DNS name if I wanted to. Uh, who's calling me? Not answering that. I don't know anybody in North Dakota. Okay, and then a few other things. Slash ZM, slash CGI.bin, slash NPH, slash ZMS. That goes to where the image is actually stored. And then after the question mark here, we have mode, which is JPEG. Uh, and all these are separated by ampersands monitor which is equal to one scale which is equal to 100 percent so if i wanted to shrink it down i could say 80 percent 50 percent 30 percent whatever i wanted to likewise if i wanted to blow it up i could go 150 percent 200 percent it depends on what size your camera is if you're making a grid of cameras that are different sizes you may have to uh, kind of fool around with that just a little bit so another ampersand, and I have my max frames per second set to 15. That seems like a good number. And I've created a user and a password to access this from the web. It's not the same one that I use all the time. I don't like to put my main username in there. Um, since this is HTTP, it is unencrypted, so this gets sent in plain text. If you have HTTPS or SSL enabled on your server, then you can rest a little bit easier knowing that it's not in plain text, it's all encrypted between you and the server and everything's good. But uh, I, I just like to make another user inside of ZoneMinder that I can access with the cameras. So we got this and right here's my Chrome tab. So that's what it looks like. So I'll just spend just a minute or two um, making a little table structure and we'll see if we can't get us a nice looking little grid. So let's see, I need a table tag, I need a table row, and then I need a table cell, and then I need to close that table cell, and then I need to close that table row, and then I need to close the table. Okay. So it'll look something like that. And I am just going to go ahead and cut this and paste it right here. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and copy that, paste it right here. So this will be, this will be the one in the top left. This will be the one in the top right. And then I'm going to copy this whole thing and make the bottom ones. There we go, and I actually only have three cameras, so I'm going to take this guy out. Now, I have three monitors that I can play around with here, 1, 16, and 26. If you didn't know what your monitors are, you can log into your zone minder and under the source column, click on the camera in question and it'll say it right up at the top what monitor it is. So I've got 1, 16, and 26. Let's see, monitor 1, that's fine. This one needs to be monitor 16, and this one needs to be monitor 26. So I'm going to save this, and let's go back over here, refresh the page, and it's working pretty good. Here is a uh, camera up on campus, here's a camera, you can see a few cars in the parking lot, and here's another camera sitting in a window on the other campus, and you can see almost the beautiful state capital of West Virginia. So let's do a little bit more with this. I'm going to take my file or my scale down to 80 percent. 
80 80 save that go back here refresh the page now you can see that they're smaller um, obviously you can press F11 and get full screen if you want now let's see if we can get rid of that nasty white background I hate white background so let's go up here BG color I think that's a tag in HTML totally BG color equals black mm, you know I don't really like the black let's do gray mm, not a huge fan of the gray either but we can you know you can you can just pick out a nice color and just specify the hex code if you want so what else do we need to do um, let's get old school here and <laughs> pull out this completely deprecated center tag that I think that there are way more elegant ways of doing that now I'm by no means an HTML expert or even coding for that point never did like programming but okay so now it's all centered on the page which is nice I like it to be centered on the page um, let's go back over here what else can we do to this we can jump up the max frames per second but that doesn't really matter depending on how many frames per second zone minder is pulling your camera so if you have your camera set up for only like 10 or 12 15 frames per second if you put 30 here you're just going to be pulling the zone minder server for 30 frames a second even though it's not updating it but maybe 15 frames a second so use that with caution i guess there's no point to pull more bandwidth than you need um hmm what else can we enable i think that's really about it um yeah super simple you know we could make a tag here we could do a uh link to whenever you click on it then it actually goes to the zone minder window that might be nice I'm gonna log in here off off camera for a second So you can see here I've got a, uh, a few cameras. Um, here's that nice one. Actually, I chose this one to be the um, to be camera number one. So I'm just going to right-click on this link, and I'm going to copy the link address, and I'll go right over here and I'll paste this into that guy. And I think that that will work. Save it. And let's go back over here. We'll go back, back, and refresh it once. So now, did I even save that? I did save that. Ahref, blah, 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 blah. Hmm, that should be clickable now. did I do wrong? Ahref, blah, 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 blah. I don't think it matters, but let's change that to this other test IP address that I've got. Oh, stupid me. I forgot the equal sign. Hmm. So let's save that. Go back over here. Refresh. All right, so now I've only enabled it for this first camera. You can tell by my mouse. Um, but whenever I click on this, it'll take me straight to Zone Minder. And straight to this camera. So let's see. I think that. How many things do I have open here? Here we go. Let me open that up again. Now that I'm already logged in, if I click it, it takes me straight to it. So that, in a nutshell, is how you can do some kind of cool things with inside of ZoneMinder. Um, I, I really enjoy pulling it out to separate HTML pages that I can just sit on a desktop or keep in my Dropbox or something like that, instead of going in here, you know, and 
you know, logging in and then clicking montage and maximizing it and, you know, making, getting my grid right. And it's, it's a pain in the butt. I, I'd rather just pull it out into another web page that I could just double click on that you don't have to log into that you can keep secure inside of your Dropbox or on your local computer somewhere. And, uh, it, it just makes things so much easier, especially if you have like a computer and a monitor at your house or something that you want to keep the cameras up all the time. It seems like the actual Zoomonder website or the website that it serves out, it seems like it times out sometimes. It makes you log in again and that's super annoying. So I like to just embed those username and passwords within the links and then just keep this secure. Definitely don't publish this out because people could just, you know, right click on it and view the source and like, oh, well, I can log into this guy's zone minder with this username and password. So hope that that helps somebody.